I just got sent like a bunch of Tupac acapellas and went crazy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna fight for my reputation. I'm gonna fight for the honorable man I am, the righteous king that I am. You won't believe what Eminem just exposed about Diddy. In a bombshell revelation, the rap god himself claims that Diddy framed Keefe D, sending him to prison in a shocking twist of the infamous Shakur assassination saga. Eminem doubles down, and I say double down because Eminem has kind of sent shots at Diddy before, but on this, he really doubles down on Diddy because... According to him, Diddy paid Keefe off, knowing his family needed the money, but now Keefe is turning the tables and blackmailing Diddy for his freedom. Get ready for Jaw, dropping details and never, before, heard secrets that could shake the music industry to its core. This is the kind of explosive gossip you don't want to miss. Eminem's deep respect for Shakur has been evident throughout his career. He has often spoken about how Tupac's music influenced him, stating... Where were you in your career when Tupac died? Nowhere. <laughs> Absolutely nowhere. This emotional connection has fueled his suspicion that Diddy had a hand in Shakur's untimely demise. Eminem hinted at this conspiracy in his past works and continues to do so in his latest album. Tupac was the first rapper to me that could make you cry. And in a shocking twist, Eminem's new album takes aim at Diddy once again. The track fuel featuring J.I.D. is particularly skating. M weaves a web of accusations insinuating that Diddy's involvement with Keefe D in Shakur's assassination is far from over. He raps, rest in peace, Biggie, and Pac. Both of you should be living, but I am not trying to beef with him because he might put a hit on me, like Keefe D did to him. This line not only pays homage to the fallen rap legends, but also revives the decades. Old rumor that Diddy had something to do with their demises. Interestingly enough, Diddy's reaction to Eminem's allegations in 2018 was cryptic. He told Joe Budden in a now-deleted podcast episode that the situation was handled. What did Diddy mean by that? Could it be that he used his influence to silence the accusations? Or was it simply a brush-off to avoid further scrutiny? Diddy has always been good at making problems disappear, but this one might be too big even for him. For 27 years, the family of Tupac Shakur has been waiting for justice. What makes you say you lost your empire because of Puffy? Why do you say that? This leads us to the question, why is Eminem so relentless in his attacks on Diddy? One possible reason is his deep connection to Shakur's legacy. Eminem was personally entrusted by Shakur's mother, Afini Shakur, to work on posthumous projects, including producing Shakur's album, Loyal to the Game. This honor may have strengthened his resolve to seek justice for Shakur, using his music as a platform to keep the conversation alive. Eminem's relentless pursuit doesn't stop at Shakur's assassination. He also dives into Diddy's recent legal troubles. On the track Antichrist, Eminem references the allegations against Diddy, including the shocking footage of him attacking Cassie in a hotel corridor. Next who asks me is getting his beat worse than Diddy did, he raps, making a clear jab at the mogul's violent history. As the story unfolds, it becomes evident that Eminem is not just stirring the pot for the sake of controversy. His jabs are rooted in a complex web of past grievances and a quest for accountability. Could it be that Eminem knows something we don't? Fans wonder. The rapper's consistent targeting of Diddy suggests there might be more to the story than meets the eye. He doesn't care what, you know, the new generation thinks of him. He doesn't care what, you know, what he says offends people. Uh, you know, it's classic Slim Shady. Interestingly enough, many fans and insiders familiar with Eminem's views believe he is hinting in his latest album that Keefe D is in cahoots with Diddy. This wild but plausible theory suggests that Diddy, realizing the Fed were closing in on him regarding the Shakur case, offered up Keefe D as a sacrificial lamb. According to this theory, Diddy paid Keefe's family a substantial sum of money, knowing Keefe was in poor health and might agree to take the fall in exchange for financial security for his loved ones. You was cool with it, right? So when, so was you a Tupac fan? Before, like yeah. when you joined Death Row? Yeah, it was cool. Tupac, yeah, he was a, a rapper. As the story unfolds, it becomes essential to understand who Keefe D is and how he is connected to Shakur's demise. Dwayne Keefe Davis, a self-described gangster and a prominent figure in the Compton Crips, has long been on law enforcement's radar. He was in the Cadillac from which the shots that fatally wounded Shakur were fired, and he has admitted in various interviews and his 2019 memoir, Compton Street Legend, that he provided the gun used in the drive by shooting. As they were in the white Cadillac, Mr. Davis took the gun that he had obtained and provided it to the passengers in the rear seat of the vehicle. Despite these admissions, he was not arrested until September 2023, when Las Vegas police, spurred by his public boasting, executed a search warrant at his home and took him into custody. One insider revealed Keefe thought he had some sort of immunity from his past confessions, but he essentially talked himself into jail by continuously bragging about his role in Shakur's assassination. Indeed, Keefe's statements have been both a boon and a bane for prosecutors. On one hand, his detailed accounts provide a narrative that law enforcement can use. On the other, they highlight inconsistencies that defense attorneys like Carl Arnold are eager to exploit.
If I wouldn't have never met him, I wouldn't have never been involved in this bull****. You know what I'm saying? This leads us to the question. Could Keefe's arrest be a calculated move by Diddy to deflect attention from his own involvement? Prosecutor Mark Giacomo has argued that Davis's admissions are strong evidence of his guilt. Still, Keefe's lawyer contends that these admissions are nothing but embellished tales aimed at boosting his notoriety and earning potential. If his guilt is so overwhelming, why did we wait 15 years to make the arrest? Asked Arnold, casting doubt on the prosecution's timing and strategy. In a shocking twist, this theory suggests that Diddy, realizing his time might be up, orchestrated a deal with Kiki D by throwing Kiki to the wolves. Diddy could potentially close the book on the Shucker assassination case and avoid further scrutiny. One source close to the investigation hinted, there are whispers that Diddy promised Keefe's family a large sum of money to take the fall. Keefe, knowing he doesn't have much time left due to his health issues, might have seen this as a way to ensure his family's financial future. Meanwhile, Diddy remains entangled in his legal troubles, including allegations of assault and trafficking. His cryptic responses and the legal drama surrounding him only add fuel to the fire. With Keefe D's trial set for November 4, the world waits to see if the truth about Shakur's assassination will finally come to light, or if this is just another chapter in an endless saga of speculation and intrigue. So if I go to jail, you need to be handcuffed to me, bitch. Interestingly enough, there are whispers in the industry that Keefe, feeling the pressure from law enforcement and seeing an opportunity, decided to play his final card against Diddy. Allegedly, Keefe realized the immense leverage he held over the hip-hop mogul. In a dramatic turn of events, he supposedly began to blackmail Diddy, demanding a substantial sum of money and promising to spill new evidence to the feds if his demands weren't met. Could it be that Keefe D, facing a bleak future behind bars, saw this as his golden ticket? According to insiders, Keefe reached out to Diddy, threatening to expose more damning details about the 1996 Las Vegas shooting that claimed Shakur's life. Pay me more money and better get me out of prison, he allegedly warned. This startling development raises a tantalizing question. Was Diddy's recent bout of legal troubles and the subsequent searches of his properties a direct result of Keefe's threats? The timing of Keefe's arrest and Diddy's ongoing legal battles seems too convenient to be a mere coincidence. In a recent interview, a retired FBI agent who investigated the Tupac case, hinted that Keefe might have flipped on Diddy to save himself. Keefe's arrested and that's a game. Changer because they have something over him. And that's when he may start spilling his guts, the agent remarked. This notion that Keefe could have provided fresh information to the feds leading to the raids on Diddy's properties adds a new dimension to the unfolding drama. The Department of Homeland Security conducting a raid at a house in Holmby Field Hills believed to be connected to Sean Combs. As the trial date approaches, the tension in the air is palpable. Fans and industry insiders alike are left wondering if the truth about Shakur's assassination will finally come to light or if this will be just another chapter of rumors and speculations. Everyone had a price on their head back then, said James McDonald, a former gangster, adding credence to the theory that Diddy might have orchestrated events from behind the scenes, driven by fear and rivalry. And in this lawsuit, he claims that essentially P. Diddy was the Epstein of the rap. Diddy, maintaining his silence amidst these allegations, continues to face mounting pressure from both his past and present actions. The trafficking raids and the ensuing lawsuits further complicate his situation, making it harder to dismiss the swirling rumors as mere conspiracy theories. As the world watches, the question remains, will Diddy manage to navigate through the storm, or will Keefe D's revelations finally unravel the truth behind one of the most infamous assassinations in hip-hop history? In a jaw-dropping twist, the narrative takes another turn with reports suggesting that Diddy's fear of Suge Knight was so intense that he might have felt compelled to act preemptively. With Keefe D now threatening to expose more secrets, Diddy's empire stands on shaky ground. Could it be that the, that the mogul, once seemingly untouchable, is now at the mercy of the very people he once controlled? As the drama continues to unfold, fans have not held back in sharing their opinions, creating a storm of comments online that reflect a wide array of perspectives on the saga between Eminem, Diddy, and Keefe D. One fan passionately expressed, I think that this song is a perfect example of why a majority of rappers and mix avoid beefing with Eminem. This comment highlights the general consensus that Eminem's lyrical prowess and fearless approach make him a formidable opponent in the rap game, one who isn't afraid to call out industry giants and stir up old controversies. Another fan didn't mince words, stating, it's not even shots fired anymore. Diddy is cooked, and everyone is just spitting on his grave. Karma. This stark opinion reflects the sentiment that Diddy, once a powerful and influential figure in the music industry, might finally be facing the consequences of his alleged actions. As we wrap up this explosive discussion, we want to hear from you. Do you think Keefe D's blackmail allegations are true? And could Diddy's recent legal troubles be a direct result of these threats? Or is Eminem's relentless pursuit of Diddy uncovering hidden truths that have been buried for decades? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and let's dive into this controversy together. Thanks for watching and see you next time.